In this video, we'll have a look at VAT input and VAT output. And then we'll also have a look at determining the VAT portion of, a, of an amount that already contains or that already includes VAT. So let's conceptualize this. Let's imagine that we're a retailer that sells consumer ele electronics. So we're selling TVs. So think of VAT input as the flow, or think of VAT as the flow of the goods in your business. So if we are going to purchase a TV from our suppliers in order to resell to our clients, this is of course a purchase. And in terms of the flow of the good, the good is of course coming from the supplier into our business. So the good is flowing into the business. This immediately tells us that this is VAT input. The value that's been added or the tax that's been added is by the supplier. So that's another way of looking at this is determining who has actually added the value to this product. So we haven't added any value yet. We haven't sold anything. We have purchased something for the business in order to sell. But at this stage, the value has been added by the supplier that we purchased this from. So this is a good flowing into the business. We haven't added the value. The supplier has. So that says that this VAT, which is an input VAT, can then be reclaimed from the revenue service for SARS. So let's say, for example, we purchased this TV for 570 Rand from our supplier. Of course, he has already added the value, or he's already added the VAT, which means that the 570 Rand is including VAT. In order to make this balance in our books and to determine which portion of this we will have to reclaim from SARS, we of course need to determine the VAT portion. So how do we do this? We take the 570 Rand we multiply this by 14 over 114. This leaves us with a portion of this amount, which includes the VAT, which is just the VAT portion. So in essence, what we are saying is that 500 Rand, or 570 Rand, which is the price including VAT, minus the VAT portion gives us the price of this good before VAT. So that would, of course, be 500 Rand. So this is just an, uh, an easy way of, or, or a, an equation that you should memorize so that you can know how to determine the VAT portion without having to go through long uh, mathematical equations. So this then says that this is a, uh, a VAT input because the flow of the good is coming into the business and the value that's been added has been added by the supplier. So then what is VAT output? VAT output, again, we'll have a look at the flow of the good. So now we've already purchased the TV, and in this case, remember we're a retailer, so now we're selling the TV to one of our customers. So in this case, we're disregarding the profit margins and so on, because we're just having a look at the VAT, the VAT portion of this. So let's have a look at the sales side of things. So if we're selling something, of course the flow of the good is going out of the business. So the TV is leaving the business, in other words. So let's say we sold this TV for 1,140 Rand. Of course, in this case, we are, the, we, we are the business that is adding the value to this good. So we are adding the tax. So of course, this is then including VAT, because our customers are going to pay that price including VAT. We then need to work out what the portion is. So we then do exactly the same thing. 1,140 multiplied by 14 over 114, and that then leaves us with a 140 Rand. The VAT output is then the, the portion of the VAT that we then owe the revenue service, or in this case, SARS. So this then leads us to how we work out what the portion is that we actually pay, because of course, this half, um, the VAT input half, is the half that we reclaim from SARS, and the output portion is the portion that we have to pay SARS. 
So that then leads us to the VAT output minus our VAT input is then the money owed to SARS. So you can see that in terms of the, the VAT input is more than likely going to be a bigger portion than the VAT or a smaller portion than the output, which in this case was 70 Rand. Our input and our output was 140 Rand. So 140 minus 70, we would then owe SARS 70 Rand. So in effect, you are adding VAT, or you're adding a tax to the value that you add to a good. So if you are selling a good, you are then the, the business that is adding that value. If you are purchasing a good, then the company who you are purchasing the good from is the company who's adding the VAT.